everyone! This time I will share some examples of hypothesis testing using Spearman row correlation. Please subscribe on my channel. To compare two different variables, so you need to rank so that the two are comparable. And that the rank correlation also will work well with ordinal rating and continuous data that are reduced to the ranks. So the smallest value in the sample has rank one and the largest has the highest rank. So in general, the rank correlation are not easily influenced by the presence of skewed data or data that are highly va variable. So let me share my example. Situation. Seven children who qualified for honors in their class were selected. They were ranked in both academic and extracurricular activities. Find out if the two variables are correlated using the data below. So there are seven children. Then uh, note that uh, the, it should be noted that the above given situation is only for the sake of illustrating how to compute and analyze the statistical problem. This is not the standard in the actual research, the standard number of sample. So we have here seven children, their academic rank and their co-curricular rank. So we have here four, three, one, six, two, five, seven. The other one, one, two, five, three, four, six, seven. So we are going to follow the nine steps in hypothesis testing problem statement. Is there a significant rank correlation between the children's academic and extracurricular activities? So what are the hypotheses we have for the null? There is no significant correlation between the two pupils rank in academic and extracurricular activities. Well, your alternative, there is a significant correlation between the two pupils rank in academic and extracurricular activities. So we have the third step, uh, choice of the statistics, an alpha, Spearman row, rank correlation, alpha at 0 0.05, the standard one. So we have the formula, row value min, uh, is equal to 1 minus the quantity of 6 times the summation of the difference squared divided by n times n squared minus 1. That is the formula for the Spearman row. And the computation, I'm using the uh, SPSS or you can use Microsoft Excel. So we come up 0 0.286 with a p value of 535. So here is the result I encoded here for the academic, and this is for extracurricular. So we have here Spearman uh, correlation, and then we are using two tailed. Then, okay. So here is the result for the non parametric correlation. So we have here 0.535 p value, 0.535, with a correlation of 0.286, which is very small, uh, which is small. So, five decision rule and findings. So, we come up here a rule that reject if the p value is less than the alpha level of significance. So, we come up 0.535, which is greater than 0 0.05. So, do not reject. You need to accept the null. Your decision is accept the null since instead of less than, it is greater than. So your interpret your p value 0.535 is greater than 0 0.05. So your interpretation there is you will accept the null. There is no significant correlation between the pupils ranks in the academic and extracurricular activities. Pupils with high academic standing may not be very active in extracurricular works or vice versa. Your conclusion: cognitive and social developments of children do not go hand in hand always. Academically, intelligence does not necessarily warrant one's interest in the extracurricular activities. And your implication, homes and schools emphasize more the left brain development or cognitive development and less focus on the right brain. Thus, children give more teeth to academic competition rather than humanities or social function. Okay, so this is a very good example of uh, Spearman coefficient of rank correlation. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions please leave that in the comments below. You can recommend a topic to discuss in the future.
Please watch my other math tutorial and don't forget to subscribe on my channel.